Hello friends! Okay, so I'm gonna click my share buttons and share this to all my different pages so no one misses out. And then I'm gonna post my shopping link right here in the comments. So all the makeup and the tools that you're about to see are all gonna be available right there. There we go. And then I pinned where um, you can shop my um, sweatshirt and all the fun things on my like it's do it i pin that in the com or in the description after i get off i'll upload everything um but yeah hello how's everyone's sunday going all right so i'm gonna go ahead and shake up my liquid touch this is so important in doing um uh, making sure you shake it up really well before you use it um uh, because it if you're not shaking it up it isn't going to be as full coverage and it's going to be a little more watered down than you're probably going to be used to so make sure that you shake it up Yay! Thank you so much. Yes, we had so much fun and then spent a few days, you know, cleaning and doing laundry and all the thing. Yes, quarantine Illinois. Awesome. Thank you guys. You're so sweet. Um, so, um, like I said, I'm just going to shake it up and then we're going to just untwist it and we'll get started. Thank you so much, you guys. So sweet. Uh, I feel like I was going to say something and I can't remember. Oh! Now I remember what it is. So on my skin right now, I'm really, really excited because I ordered and got um, the Mattifying Face Primer from Unique. Um, this is brand spanking new. It's only available to um, presenters right now, but it's going to be available on the first for everybody. So make sure you set your alarm um, for the first because this is going to be amazing. I have it on my skin right now and it feels really, really good. Um, hence like how like kind of almost glossy it looks. Um, but on my skin right now I have on my setting spray and then I did my primer and then I did my setting spray again. So that's what I have on right now on my skin. Um, and we're gonna do a little review on this. So right now, obviously I really like it. Um, so they actually made this mattifying face primer, not just to wear underneath makeup, but to wear when you're not wearing makeup. Um, it blurs your pores, which I definitely noticed. You can see how my face looks very glossy, almost very um, like dewy, which is really nice. Kind of looks like I just had a facial. Um, so this is, so far I really, really like it, but we're gonna try it underneath our makeup because for me, I always know if I don't like a primer within probably the first like hour or two um, because it like, almost mixes in with my foundation and makes my foundation look really oily or come off altogether. So we're going to see how this does. And I, honestly, the glow is this guy right here. This is the mattifying face primer. So like I said, meant for without makeup or with makeup, it blurs your pores. Um, and yeah, it's amazing. So we'll go ahead and, and give it a full review, but so far so good. I've got one more week left. Awesome. Oh no, I'm freezing on your end. Am I freezing for anybody else? Um, Wanda, I would not recommend it for dry skin. If you have dry skin, I would recommend the hydrating face primer. So Unique will offer three primers as of the first. So the mattifying face primer is good for oily skin and large pores. The hydrating face primer is going to be good for dry skin, mature skin. And then the glorious face primer is good for combination skin. Um, so yeah, I hope that I answered your question. Awesome. Hi guys. I'm doing really, really good. Thank you. Okay. I'm not freezing. Okay, good. Okay. So we're going to pin up my hair and then we'll go ahead and get started. Thank you. Yes. We did get a little bit of a tan, which is nice. We just spent the days on this empty beach and it was so nice because I didn't have to worry about the kids or strangers or anything. It was really, really, really pleasant. So I know I'm trying not to talk about it because I know it's a very sensitive subject right now, but yeah. So Hydrating face primer, not the same. No, so this is brand new. This is called the Mattifying Face Primer, and it's going to be available on the 1st, on the 1st, April 1st. No joking there. Thank you. I know I really love the length of my hair right now, for sure. Thank you. Using face primer. Thank you. Okay, so now we're going to put on our Liquid Touch Foundation on top of our powder concealer brush. After I get off my live, I'm going to actually hop on my Instagram stories and clean my makeup brushes with you because they are far overdue. I didn't wear like any makeup the entire time we were gone and it was really, really nice. Hence my little sunburn on my nose. Um, did not put enough sunscreen on. You know when you're like always worried about the kids, like putting sunscreen on them and you always forget about mama. But anyway, so... 
I'm going to clean my makeup brushes with you guys on Instagram stories after I get off here. So if you've been wondering how to clean yours or what to do or how to use it or anything, um, catch me over on Instagram, which I posted a, um, a link to it in the description of this tutorial. But you can search Raya Hope on Instagram. And then you're going to watch the Instagram stories, which is super easy. You just click on the little profile picture and the stories will begin to play. Let your hair grow. Yeah, I'm going to let it grow a little bit longer kind of like how it was um around October if you guys <laughs> remember you're like oh yes October I remember your exact length just ordered some zote yeah girl that's what I'm gonna use thank you Blanca actually liking this color for your hair for your hair too blonder without the sour thank you are you going to let your hair grow oh you're in facial pixie thank you should you use setting powder if you have mature skin so you can thanks mom love you too you can use setting powder um for dry skin you're just going to want to use it very wisely and very sparingly all right so we just threw on about five drops of our liquid touch foundation and i use my powder concealer brush to just blend this in very fast um that's kind of why i really like this brush because it applies it very quickly and very evenly um it's flexible enough to be able to disperse it really evenly but it's not um it's like the perfect amount between density and like flexibility with putting it on your skin my natural hair color okay ready for this fun fact um i actually started bleaching my hair because i have psoriasis i don't know if you guys knew that it's an immune deficiency disorder um and it causes your but your body to overproduce white blood cells which can cause your um your skin to flake basically long story short so because of that i usually get like patches on my on my scalp because of that and for a long time i was using like all these kinds of like serums and medicines and all the things and it was really annoying and mine's not painful at all like thank god because i know a lot of people do have really painful psoriasis mine's not painful whatsoever um it was just a nuisance basically i'm just using a little bit more of my foundation and now i'm going over it with my blending bud because you see some redness popping through the blending buds are so incredible for hiding that because it's really being intentional where you're putting your foundation hold on i'm going to turn up my brightness on my phone Okay, um, because being very intentional where you're putting it. So it's kind of like compacting it down into place. But anyway, so about psoriasis. So I um, was talking about my girlfriend, she was a stylist, and she was like, I could bleach your head, that can take off that layer of dead skin. I'm like, let's just do it. This was when I was 20. So 10, 11 years ago. Gosh, can you believe that? Um, so I was like, let's just do it. And shockingly, it did exactly what we had thought it would it took off that whole dead layer of skin and i didn't have any like dandruff um or dry skin flaking off from my scalp um and i didn't have to take any of those like gross medications or creams or whatever um so since then i just have been bleaching my hair so that's actually why i'm platinum blonde a lot of people uh, not a lot of people but there are the negative nancy's out there that you know like to go back to your natural, be natural. I'm like, well, it's actually for more reason than just because I like the color. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of why I'm platinum blonde. But what I do now for those dry patches is Lange has these, this really great exfoliating scalp scrub. Um, if you have like dandruff or dry scalp or itchy scalp or psoriasis like I do on your scalp, grab yourself the exfoliating scalp scrub i always want to call it a hair mask but it's not it's a scalp scrub it's really really good but uh message me no i don't take the the um the bear vitamins i forget what they were called are they blue bear i don't remember so itchy nothing seems to work trish get the um scalp scrub or just message me i could tell you what i use on mine because i only get it when my hair does start to grow out um because that's when the psoriasis begins to kind of come back so yeah, message me and I'll give you like my little regimen, what I use. Try and click them out. Yeah, let me know if I'm still blurry for anybody. Yeah, is life. What do you use to get your hair to grow longer? Message me, Sonia, and I can give you the uh, what I've been using. Because honestly, it's made like such a big difference. Sugar bear, that's what they're called. They're just so expensive, honestly. <laughs> Thank you. If I missed your comment, just uh, comment it again because I know I saw a bunch up on top when I was yachting, yachting. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my Skin Perfecting Concealer and this is in the shade Velour and I'm just gonna take this on my under eye. 
pop that underneath. So I like to use my concealer um, after my foundation. So how I kind of think of it is like a wall. So before you paint the wall, you prime it, right? So I prime my face because I don't want my paint, my foundation to seep into all my fine lines and my creases and all of the areas. Um, so then you put the paint on foundation. Then if you need a little bit extra paint, we're gonna go in with our concealer and do a little touch up. So that's kind of how I think of it on my face. <laughs> He's so sweet. We are doing very good, thank you. What eyeshadow brushes do you have? I use almost all eyeshadow brushes from Unique. Almost all my brushes that I use besides like one are from Unique and everything I'm using, including the blending buds that I'm using right now and the powder concealer brush that I used, which was this guy, to put on my foundation are all from Unique, which you can shop right here, rayahopebeauty.com. Uh, message me for the details on the scalp scrub. The new primer launches on the 1st, April 1st, I believe at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Stop freezing on my end. Okay, good. Knock on wood. <laughs> okay, hold on one second. Okay. I undid from my Wi-Fi, so let me know if that makes it any better. My hair's going natural for a while since the salons are closed. I know. I was like, oh no. <laughs> Blurry. Well, I'm going to scroll up a little bit and see whose comments I missed. Thank you. <laughs> Got my new foundation. Yay. Okay, cool. I think I caught up in most. Perfect to my end. Glasses are back. I have velour. It is too yellow for me. What do you think? Um, Callie, I would probably do the shade Organza or the shade Lace, but you can always message me a selfie facing a window and I can give you a, a full recommendation. Yeah, I'm back. Thank you. Yes, he is very sweet. So the same. Can you see? Great. I... Let me know, keep me posted. Okay, so now that we have our concealer on, you can really see how full of coverage that is. And you guys, these blending buds are so important for putting on your foundation, your concealers, because it applies it very softly to your skin. Um, it also compacts it, like I was saying, in a place. So if you have a, lar a lot of large pores, a lot of fine lines, a lot of wrinkles, the blending buds make everything very smooth on your skin. So to keep everything very smooth, now I'm gonna go in with my setting powder. So this is the Touch Behold Translucent Setting Powder, and I pop the cap off mine with a butter knife so I could bake with it and what baking is is it's essentially just taking a lot of translucent setting powder pop it on your face so we're going to use a dry beauty blender this one's from Walmart you can buy it online at like Sephora or Amazon probably it's by Real Techniques I like it because it's flat now I'm going to take my setting spray which is by Unique and I'm going to mist that on there and then now I'm just going to pop it down into the powder Always make sure that any of your fine lines, if they're starting to uh, happen, that you flatten them or get rid of them before you go in with your powder. So now we're gonna go right in with this and we're gonna pop it right on top. And what this is doing is it's absorbing any of your natural oils and it's also helping kind of keep any environment um, away as well. So for example, if you live somewhere where it's really humid or if you work around food or if you are I have an eyelash stuck to my face. Come on. Almost got it. Almost got it. Got it. Um, I forget what I was saying. But basically, it kind of pushes away all of those elements. So it doesn't make your face really oily or really um, greasy or make your makeup come off. Or if your makeup comes off on your phone or if it comes off on people, the setting powder also kind of creates that barrier. Would use setting powder if you have dry skin. I would use less of it. So I'll show you how I would use it when we fan away because I don't let mine sit that long. I just like a little bit on there to just absorb any of my natural oils. So if you have dry skin, this is how you're going to use it. So you're going to take a uh, tapered brush like this. It does not matter what kind of brush this is. Um, and you're going to utilize that mesh plating and you're going to just like tap it on. So again, if we have that mesh plate, I would use a lot less of it. So you want like that much, maybe even a teeny tiny bit less. And you're just going to dust this right underneath the eye, just like that. And it's gonna do the exact same thing. You're just gonna use, like I said, less of the product. 
the beauty oil oh my gosh yes it has a mate it's amazing for dry skin also we do have really good moisturizers if you haven't checked those out too i've been saying how my state is not including the easy to not see oh my forehead and my number 11 shows the makeup how do i fix that so kelly um skincare would probably be the best option I mean, makeup is good for covering, but it's not going to like make anything tighter. Unfortunately, I wish, I wish it did like Botox, but, <laughs> um, but I would do, um, Uplift Beauty Serum is really, really good for that. I have a job and we'll be moving around a lot and I'm sweating with baking help. Yes, Janelle, it would a lot. Okay. So now, hello from New York. Now I'm going to use this guy right here. This is the mineral touch press powder and this is in the shade Scarlet. I'm going to grab it on my dry beauty blender again, and I'm going to push this underneath my eye. So I really love using this step for brightening and also to help my under eyes not crease. So this is a step that I have found that I really love that works for me. If you have oily skin, um, or if you find that your under eyes get really oily or crease a lot, that step is like amazing. It's like incredible i really really love how brightening it is and then how also like it helps your under eyes to not crease uh do not work in your shoes thank you lisa dry skin and use the powder just a little bit makes a difference yes i agree and when i do my mom's makeup i do the same thing i just kind of dust the setting powder on rather than like packing it on so to keep the makeup from looking like it's sitting on your face, your pre-makeup routine is so important. Um, so like I said, I use a setting spray and then I use the primer by Unique. So today I'm using the mattifying primer, which will be launched on the first, but we do have the glorious face primer, which is really great. So before your, your makeup really matters, also exfoliating really counts. So if you're not using an exfoliate, um, either a cleanser or a mask, Unique has both and they're both incredible. I use the exfoliating face mask once a week and that really strips away a lot of the dead skin on your face, um, which causes your makeup to just sit on top of it. Lastly, another way to get your makeup to not look like it's sitting on your face is using the blending buds, which are how I put on my foundation and my concealer. And these guys are made with like almost like a wetsuit material. They're not like the beauty blender you're gonna pick up at Sephora or wherever. They are like meant for this makeup. They are really, really good. Your new home is face to eyes. Gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you so much. Crab back in stock. Um, I'm not sure. I'll have to look at the website, but anything that's out of stock, if you just scroll down just a little bit more, it usually will have the restock date in red. So much more than you should download. Should I resend? Yes, please, Michelle. Please resend it today. Um, yes, the face primers. So the mattifying one right here is gonna be good for oily skin and large pores. The Glorious Face Primer is good for combination skin or normal. Um, and then the Hydrating Face Primer is good for mature skin and dry skin. Um, Redrawing your new home. My under eye skin stays dry. Any tips? So I would use the rose water. The Refreshing Rose Water is incredible. And you can actually use that during your makeup routine um, to add hydration to your makeup as you go. So say at this point, you're like, oh my gosh, my face feels so dry. What you can do is, and I always keep it right here just in case I have the same issue. Um, this is the this is the cucumber one by uh, Unique, the rose water. It's amazing. It's so, so good. And I just spritz it on my face. Um, it can take away the makeup-y look. It can also add a little bit of hydration to your skin. So I might actually do that for this little sunburn on my nose um, to add a little bit of hydration there. And it also takes away redness. So using the rose water before you do makeup is super, super good for your skin. One, it's a toner, so it's tightening. And two, it reduces redness. So if you have a lot of redness in your skin, the rose water before your makeup is game changer. Dry under eyes, so the rose water really helps, as does the blending buds. And you can also use the um, BB Flawless Complexion Enhancer. You can use that in place of your foundation or mix it with it, because it's more hydrating. Yes, of course. I'm also out of pressed powder in the shade Scarlet, but it's sold out. Um, you could use the shade Organs. It's very, very similar. Where'd you get the big brush? Message me and I can give you the link to this guy. This is like the only one that I use that's not by Unique, actually. The mattifying primer launches on the 1st, April 1st. Be good for mature skin. Yes, it, it's good for oily skin in general. So if you have oily skin and mature skin, totally fine. Thank you. Yes, it's always a good thing to be distracted when the world is going crazy. <laughs> so let's be distracted and let's play with makeup. Honestly, it's the perfect time. You're like, wow, what could I do at home for a month? Play with makeup. 
Okay, so now we're going to contour. So now I'm going to use my Beachfront Bronzer, and this is in the shade Hermosa, and I'm going to use it with my tapered blusher brush. This brush, you guys, is so incredible. It does all the work for you. If you've been feeling like you don't know how to contour or you're intimidated by it, this brush does all the work for you. So what you do is you take the brush, start at the top of the ear, and you're going to work to the corner of the mouth. You're going to take it, um, I always get confused by this, horizontally, and you're just going to start dusting that back and forth in the hollow and then you're going to turn the brush vertically and do little swirls over it just like that and that is going to soften your contour up and it's also going to start defining your face and give you a warmth complexion <laughs> yes makeup does make everything better yes absolutely i will be here in days you did your hair today good for you bobby but yes i feel like doing sticking to some some sort of normal routine, especially when you're not in your normal routine, is very, very, very helpful. Especially if you're working from home, getting ready, putting on your makeup, and then starting your work day if you are lucky enough to still be able to work from home right now. Um, I really feel like that uplifts your spirits a little bit too. Keeps us out of our funk. I think you should do your mom's makeup. Okay, we. I think we could do that this week. Um, I wouldn't recommend using more than one primer, Jamie. If you wanted to use more than one thing, I would do the setting spray and the primer. Um, can you use notes? Can you use notes than one layer of primer aging? Oh, oh, got it, got it. No, I would use just one. Yay, awesome, Janelle. Thank you for being such a beauty. Thank you. Okay, so same thing on the other side. So before that, I want to show you guys the difference. So I'm going to contour my forehead, which is just like the temples. And then I just bring it down. And see how that really starts to warm up your face? It makes the makeup almost look like it's way more natural than just kind of washing you out. With the rose water going before the setting spray, you can actually use the rose water at any point during your makeup routine. If you start to feel dry, use it. But for me, I would use it before your makeup and after. Do you want to make it along with you? Yay! Awesome! That's great. Did the pull makeup today because I'm stuck at home. Awesome. See, we're almost a little dark. Can you exchange? Absolutely, yes. You can exchange or return no problem. You can also mix uh, your concealer in with your foundation if you did one shade lighter to lighten it up and carry you through until summer, until we're allowed outside um, to get a little bit of a tan. Thanks. Okay, so contour versus no contour. You see this side, how it looks really kind of bland, looks a little washed out versus this side, looks much more warm, um, looks much more kind of, I don't know, it just looks better, <laughs> right? It just really kind of tapers in your face, makes your cheekbones look more plump. So good. Click the little thumbs up if you see the difference. Yes, the quarantine. Ugh, I'm so frustrated. We, um, you have to get permits in San Diego when you when you build a pool and you need to go through four different departments to get like them basically to sign off and we made it through three of the four and then the city closed. <laughs> I know there's more horrible things going on right now than my pool but we're like no because it's all dirt in the backyard so the kids can't play out there the dog can't go out there so we're really hoping to be able to uh, get that done not even just for the pool but just for the concrete because <laughs> everything's waiting on the pool thanks can I try the blusher brush oh yay it's so good I'm using the beachfront contour and I started watching you game changer awesome do you have any tricks for spray foundation with mature skin I would definitely recommend the blending buds for sure does rose water make my pores puffy absolutely not rose water would do the opposite actually it'd shrink your pores I know, right? So frustrating. Oh, well. Hopefully, we can figure something out in the meantime. Thank you. Honestly, practice makes better. If you think that you suck at makeup, the more you do it and the more, like, different tricks you try is, the like, the better for you. Because, honestly, I used to think the exact same thing. Like, I can never contour. And then I got that brush. And I was like, wow, does all the work for me. <laughs> And I thought, oh, I'll, I'll never be a blush girl. It never looks good on me. And then I tried these blushes and I was like, wow, they're very subtle. They're not like the crazy blush that I just picked up. So try different things. Um, do you have the beach from Brandon and little, I don't have a, the lightest shade on hand. No, but that's the shade sunset. All right. So now for blush, speaking of colors, you think you're going to hate. So this color is a shade surreal. When I saw it on the web, on the website, I was like, heck no, they've lost their minds at corporate. I'm not wearing a purple blush. 
I ordered it, gave it a try, and I'm like really pleasantly surprised. It is not purple. <laughs> It actually is this really gorgeous dusty rose and it's so beautiful and so subtle. It's the perfect everyday blush. It just simply gives your skin a very slight flush color and you see how it almost gives it a sheen too. So pretty, really kind of ties together your contour and your face and it's not, like I said, it's not bright or purple at all. So this is, again is the shade Surreal and I'm using on my blusher brush by Unique and we're just tapping this on apple of my cheek working to the hairline. So you can closer to the contour. So it's going to go contour blush highlight. Just like that. Not pretty. Just a very good subtle color. When contouring mature skin. Gals don't go for mouth right. So you're going to stick to the two finger rule. So what I like to refer to it. Two finger lengths away from your mouth. Two finger lengths away from your jawline is kind of where you want to settle it. You are nice. Um, no, they won't bring Serene back, unfortunately. Uh, when kind of, oh, I already read that one. I know, it was my favorite too. Yeah, Sisterly is definitely very, very, very similar to um, Serene, which I think that should be back in May, I believe, if I remember correctly. Also purchase combo with the two BB cream blending buds. Yay, awesome. And yes, oh my gosh, thank you for saying that, Leah. You reminded me. There's free shipping. No minimum order necessary or no minimum purchase necessary. It's free shipping until the 27th, which I think is Friday, right? So all week. So if you haven't yet grabbed any of the makeup or anything yet, definitely do so ASAP. Um, yes, I'll try to remember to swatch snarky. Message, uh, remind me at, near the end. Social distancing life. Jody. now's the perfect time to practice. And the blush. I know, isn't that so pretty? All right, so right now what I just did is I took my Touch of the Mode Luminizer in the shade Lustrous, and I just popped it on the highest parts of my cheekbones, and now I'm taking my, um, it's just a fluffy brush from Stilazzi. It's a tapered cheek 510 brush, and I'm taking the same thing, Touch of the Mode Luminizer in the shade Lustrous, I'm just popping this on the highest parts of my cheekbones, just like that, bridge and tip of my nose, just to give it that really, really pretty kind of glowy highlight. So if you've been looking for a really easy highlight, this guy right here is amazing. So you can do the cream to powder or the powder or both. Um, can't go wrong. It's so, so pretty on. But it just gives you this really gorgeous kind of bronzy glow. Makes you feel like you've been outside. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Oh, you're the champ, Belle. I haven't done my makeup days. So honestly, if you guys need any help with color matching, if you have questions on application, just send me a message and I would be so happy to help you. And if you haven't yet, make sure that you click that share button in your bottom left-hand corner. Helps me out so, so much when you guys share. I'm a small business as well, working from home. So I really appreciate you guys um, putting the word out there and sharing about my, my little makeup biz over here. Yes, message me, absolutely, Beth. I actually don't have the link to this one, if that's the one you're talking about. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my brows really quickly. My favorite way to do my eyebrows is using this brush right here, or this pencil. This is the brow pencil in the shade Medium, and it is so good. Does your brows so, so quickly, and is honestly the perfect learning tool. So if you haven't yet mastered your eyebrows, this is the perfect tool to do it. Like I said, it makes it so easy because it has a retractable tip. You never have to worry about sharpening it. It's pigmented without being too heavily dark. And the tip of the brush, tip of the pencil, is so dainty, you guys. It is so small, so you get really precise hair-like strokes. So you don't go in, you're like, oh goodness, what have I done? <laughs> it's just so subtle and so easy to do. Another thing to keep in mind as well when you're doing your eyebrows is the pressure. How hard are you pushing the pencil into your eyebrow? If you are pushing really hard, you're going to get it to be really dark and you're also going to fly through your pencil. Light hands. Remember to think light hands. Say thank you. Oh, yay! I'm so glad. Thanks. I'm really glad that worked for you, Lisa. <laughs> I just, when I get my eyebrows waxed, I just say... Um, I want a little bit of an arch and to clean them up. So hopefully maybe that, that'll help. <laughs> All right. So now I'm doing my eyeliner in the shade perfect. 
And I love to do this before I do my eyeshadow because this always, um, you're going to blend out underneath afterwards. So this is just going to blend it out for you. It's really, think smarter, not harder. And also it's on sale on the Kudos, which if you haven't checked that out, Kudos is like our monthly deal. Every month it's something different. This month you get your choice of eyeliner, you get your choice of eyeshadow palette, and you get your choice of mascara, which is a really good deal. And then you get to pick any of the addiction palettes. And all of these are actually going to be retiring as soon, like as soon as it's sold out, it's gone forever. So make sure that you snag or stock up on whatever eyeshadow palette that you love. Yeah, the new one is called the Mattifying Face Primer. It's really good. It blurs your pores. Um, and so far, I really, really like it underneath my makeup. We'll see how it lasts throughout the evening. Um, and I'll be sure to report back. <laughs> I love that these guys right here. This is the Deja Vu Dry Shampoo. I actually just like went to town on my hair. It was actually re looking really, really oily. <laughs> so Deja Vu Dry Shampoo and also if it's in stock, I really love this one too. This is Style Revival. And this one's like a little bit um, heavier. So if your hair gets really, really oily, that guy is amazing. And for my launch link, just message me or I'll post it right here too. So that's where you can shop all the hair stuff that I've been talking about off and on. Aw, thank you. Okay, so now we're ready for our eyes. So I'm actually going to do the Addiction Palette 7 today. And I'm going to use this really fun pink color right here. I have this, like, idea in my mind about this, like, very soft pink eye. We'll see if I can achieve it because, honestly, it's just a thought. <laughs> so I know we're live, so hopefully it looks good. Oh, Addiction Palette. Actually, Addiction, Addiction Palette 6 is the only one that will be restocked only because they already had like a shipment coming in. So once that one is gone, it's gone. But as for one through seven, besides six, like once they're gone, they're gone. So if you love any of the palettes, make sure you snag one, all of them, <laughs> however many you can get. Um, the Kudos is the way to get it on sale. So K-U-D-O-S on my website, rayahopebeauty.com. And then also underneath eyes, you can click eyeshadows and you can buy them individually or you can buy them in a set of three. And the three set is discounted. Thank you. Do you know when the spray finish will be available again? In June. I pull up with the makeup of my hair. Yay. Thank you. Is one of the most natural nudes. Yes. Number one and number six would be, well, six isn't available. So yes, one. <laughs> All right. So we're going to use this color right here, which is a shade sharp. It's very intense pink. I'm going to take it on top of my fluffy crease brush. Always blend it in the cap. And then I'm going to tap off a lot of that because I want to go in really softly and I'm just going to I'm using a super light hand um because I don't really know how it's going to turn out at first so whenever you use a bright color or a color that you're not used to using think light hands <laughs> thank you um the kudos I believe is 74 and you get the three things any eyeshadow palette any mascara and a um eyeliner but they're normally I believe 49 how many different color eyeshadows come in the liquid that's a good question um I don't know off the top of my head I want to guess 12 there's a few of them I think I have all of them but one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, maybe there's like nine okay so that was the shade sharp and like I said I'm like going very light-handed with this and I'm always tapping it off and always, if you are trying to get your eyeshadow to look really soft, um, light hands. Again, remember how we talked about that with your eyebrow pencil? Same goes for your eyeshadow. Hold your brush towards the back. That's going to ensure that you are having it with a very light hand. You're not pushing it super hard. Thank you, Susie. And... Holding it towards the back ensures that you have less pressure being pushed. So I'm just kind of dusting this on. Isn't that pretty? I've always been a sucker for a pink eye. And then this is a trick too if you have hooded eyes. Is do your eye shadow with your eyes open. It's not like a very natural feeling. <laughs> I always want to close them. But always keep your eyes open. And it's going to force you to have your brush higher up. All right, so I'm just dusting this on. Do you prefer liquid or powder? Ooh, that's a tough question. I really love how easy and I love how crease-proof the liquids are. I'd probably say liquid just because it's so fast and so easy. 
I use the Esteem Lash Serum to grow my eyebrows and my eyelashes. It's going to be under uh, lashes on my website, rayahopebeauty.com. And our, um, what am I trying to say? Our lash primer is only $24. The eyeliner, you guys, this eyeliner stays put. So if you haven't grabbed this one yet, definitely do so. All right, so now I'm going to take the liquid eyeshadow in the shade Reverent. And this is a really, really pretty kind of champagne-y color. And I'm just popping this on the middle of my eye. And I'm just going to take my finger and very just softly kind of um, blend this out. Just in the center. Just like that. All right. I'm almost done. Again, use my finger just really easily. And this is the shade Reverent again in the liquid eyeshadows. And like I said, um, these liquid shadows are crease proof, smudge proof, and they dry very quickly and they're super, super easy to use. One of that, uh, yeah, right? Any closed auctions coming up? Cynthia, you may be right, girlfriend. I might have a few things on the in the books for you guys for while we're all, all at home. But stay tuned. I don't have any um, dates in mind for that. But yes, I have, I have like two bagfuls of clothes that I need to go through. So um, be on the lookout for that. All right. So that was Reverent on there. I'm just gonna take my fluffy crease brush again. I'm just gonna go over that. And then now I'm going to take my liner shader brush. If you guys haven't grabbed this yet, definitely do so. And I'm going to take none of those colors. I'm going to take this one. It doesn't matter. Any brown. I'm just grabbing the brown from Addiction Palette 6 because I had it handy. And I'm just going to line my underneath right here. Kind of going right against my eyeliner. Just because it's going to give it a more like finished look. It almost acts as like mascara underneath. But this brush is so easy to do it without it looking too overdone or too over the top or too smoky. Again, this is the liner shader brush. And it comes with the flat end on the other side, which is perfect for doing mask or, um, eyeshadow on the lid. So this guy's amazing. Liner shader brush. How long will you be able to purchase the three palettes? Um, I think it's once they're sold out, they're gone. So it's however long that they're available. Thank you. Yes, we did, uh, Christina. Thank you. Uh, what color is that? So I'm using the Addiction Palette 7, and I use the shade Sharp in the crease. And then I use the Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Reverent on the lid. And then now I'm going to take the Addiction Palette 7, and I'm going to use this one, Electric. I'm going to take the crease brush from Unique, tap that in there, and then I'm just going to pop this on the inner corners of my eye. And then right underneath my brow bone very lightly. Just in that area. I always get shadow in my eyes when I do the bottom. Um, tap off your brush. That's always a really good help. Thanks. Yeah, you could definitely do it heavier and more intense, intensified than this if you wanted. Just use a heavier hand. Yes, I know. Isn't Palette 7 really pretty? It's so much fun because it has, like, I would never use all the colors together, but it definitely has colors that are really hard to find in other palettes. So it's really nice to have all of the bright colors in one spot that you can kind of play around with with other colors. Okay, so now I'm going to set my makeup and then I'm going to finish up. I'm so mugged. I had a brand new one of these in my carry-on. So dumb. And they took it away. They threw it away. I was like, you better give that to someone. It's expensive. He was like, no, I'm blind less. <laughs> but I always set my makeup before I do my mascara. Because if you do your setting spray after your mascara, you're just making your more, mascara more wet. So I like to do it beforehand, get it out of the way. And also kind of preps your lashes and your lips for what's about to come. Okay, so now we are going to do our eyelashes, and I'm going to first go in with my lash primer. This is amazing for if your eyeshadow, I'm sorry, if your mascara is always being runny or giving you raccoon eyes, 
This helps to cling on to it. Also makes your lashes that much longer, that much fuller. And it also helps to curl your lashes. And that's not all. It also helps to hydrate your lashes, which helps the growth cycle to slow, which makes your lashes longer, longer, longer. <laughs> but it's really good. So I like to put it on first. And then I like to leave it on for like just a few seconds to let it get a little bit tacky. And then you're gonna go in with your mascara. So base of the lash all the way up. And then once you have that on, now I'm gonna go immediately in with my 4D mascara. I know, right? I've always wondered that too, Amy. I bet they take it. I would. <laughs> Look what I got today at work. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna take the 4D and I'm gonna go from the base of the lash all the way up. And I like to kind of blink onto my wand. I find that that kind of helps my lashes go a little bit, kind of combing through them nicer. And then I always comb through the back side of them. Don't neglect the backs. And then you could do as many coats of this as you want. Um, I have all of my rings linked on my Like It To Know It. And I will give you guys full outfit and jewelry details over on my Instagram story as soon as I get off here. So if you want to catch that, go ahead and make sure you're following me on Instagram. And then you're just going to click on my profile picture and that will make the Instagram stories play. I've also been linking some really good sale items on my Instagram stories as well. So if you haven't checked it out today, make sure you do so. All of the addiction palettes, all of these guys are being retired. We are going to be releasing a new addiction palette every year, um, but it will only be around for the year. Um, so make sure that you are keeping up with the times. Make sure you click the little three dots at the top right hand corner and turn on live notifications. That way you get notified whenever I go live. And then you can also sign up for my text alerts so you don't miss out on anything as well. And to do that, you're just gonna text Raya Hope to the number 25456. So text Raya Hope to 25456 and that will opt you in to receive my notifications. All right, so the last thing that I do with my lashes is I go in with the Waterproof Epic Mascara. I love adding just a little coat of this. One, it makes your lashes waterproof. And two, it just, I love the applicator of this. It comes through your lashes really nicely. And it just adds a little bit of zhuzh to your lashes. Just straight as an arrow. So Ellie, I would get the Esteem Lash Serum and I would get the um, Lash Primer. When you're done, will you swatch the bronzer? The bronzer I have on my face? Your eyelashes have gotten so long. I know, the Esteem Lash Serum, you guys, I'm telling you, it's so good. It makes your lashes grow like weeds. Also is really, really an amazing gift. If you know anyone or if you personally are going through chemo, if you start using the Esteem Lash Serum before and during, you have a much higher chance of keeping your lashes and your eyebrows. So if you know anyone that's going through that or will be going through that, it's an amazing gift to give them. And again, it's only $24. Oh, thank you. All right, so now for our lips, we're gonna do the lip liner and prude it. And I love, love, love these lip liners. They're smudge proof, they glide on, they're matte, and they're so pretty. And I like to fill in my whole lip with this a little bit. And they make overdrawing your lips so easy. Okay. So once we've done that, Again, that was a lip liner and prudent. Now I'm gonna go in with the liquid lipstick in the shade Subtle. And this is honestly the best like everyday lip combination. It's so good. Like if you're gonna invest in one lip kit, this should be it. It's so, so pretty, so everyday. It's like mauve and nude all at once. It's creamy, but it doesn't peel or come off. And then to just add a little touch, now I'm gonna take the lip gloss in the shade Lux, and I'm gonna pop this right in the center. Just like that. Ta-da! Finished makeup look. 
So thanks for watching, you guys. I really appreciate you. Make sure that you um, message me or send me a selfie if I haven't color matched you yet. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be sure to post the full product list in the comments after I get off here. Um, but like I said, make sure that you snag any addiction palette if you haven't yet because they are being retired so we did the addiction palette seven today and um yes i will swatch snarky for you it might take me a minute to find um but if you haven't yet messaged me a selfie facing a window make sure you do so and if it's already dark where you are because i'm in california um just send me a recent photo if you have a recent photo of you standing outside or in the car as long as there's no filter on it I can color match you and then let me know what your skin's like is it dry is it oily or do you like what your preferences are if you like um full coverage light coverage I want to know all of those things so I can give you an accurate recommendation I'm not going to just like give you this cookie cutter this is what you need I want to know like what your preferences are thank you and then, like I said, make sure that you shop right here in the comments, rayahopebeauty.com. I think this is it. Is that snarky? Yeah, it is. Will you swatch Hermosa? Yes. So that is snarky. It's kind of like a really, really pretty mauve. Very, very pretty. I would pair the lip liner in the shade Pouty with it. That guy. And then Hermosa. Bronzer's a little bit harder to swatch because it's so like matte. You can kind of see it there. You can see it on my face. So that's Hermosa. But if you guys need anything else, just message me, send me a selfie, let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, if you need any recommendations or need any help, just message me. Um, and like I said, make sure that you click that share button in your bottom left hand corner. I so appreciate you guys sharing about my little makeup business. Um, like I said, I'm a small business too, so I really appreciate you guys. So bottom left hand corner and then top right hand corner, click the three little dots and you can turn on live notifications so you don't miss out. And then you can also text the number 25456 and say Raya Hope. That's going to be your text to it. And that'll opt you in to receive my notifications as well. Make sure you follow me over on Instagram. My name there is Raya Hope. And I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.